Okay. Oh, I'm excited. I'm excited too. So I, 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 I really took the time to, to boast you up, uh, Amy. So I know. Oh gosh, I, I don't believe anything she says. No. Okay. Like, I, well, you know, I, this really has come from this zoom has stemmed from multiple conversations that you and I have had just about of what's really important, what's really important in the day to day, what's really important in ins and outs. And, you know, we've been around long enough now, and I'm going to ask you to share a little bit of your story, but we've been around long enough to know that simplicity is key when it comes to this business. And whenever we get complex or complicated, or we start thinking too much, that's when we always have to, you know, bring it back to basics. And so over the past couple of years, we know that we've adapted and adjusted and um, changed our ways and shifted gears to social media solely, you know, due to all the events of 2020. And um, host to post really became one of the most important ways for us to broaden our network and expand our network. So um, reaching out to you, I know that I've let them know you've had multiple, multiple personal enrollments, um, personal yeah. promotions in the last couple of months. And so if, if you will just share a little bit about your story, like the shortened version, because you know, we want to get right to it, but also sort of what led up to you really focusing on host to post to yeah. get the story behind that. So everyone, yeah. this is Amy Spence. Hey guys. So I am super excited um, because I feel like, you know, first of all, tell me who I'm talking to. So how long have you guys been in the business? Am I talking to rubies, emeralds, diamonds? Obviously you're a host to post group. So are you really doing host to post? Um, I just asked for full transparency because one thing about me is I'm very transparent. I will tell you the good, the bad, the ugly, the great, whatever. So like she said, I'm Amy. I've been with It Works for seven and a half years. I am a former high school counselor. It's crazy though, because I was a high school counselor for three years of my life. I went to college, grad school to be a counselor, and I've now officially doubled my time and my career with It Works um, versus being a school counselor. But I honestly did not see It Works coming. I never wanted to do something like this, you guys. I loved my job excuse me, but Caroline, our daughter was born with a very rare genetic disorder. So I could spend all day talking about my story. So I'm just going to pick the highlights in the last seven years. Okay. So I joined Ali Antonacci. Um, I, I told her no for seven months. She stalked me, you guys, in my work, literally drove three hours or two hours from St. Louis and pretended to like tell me something about her nonprofit and then pitch the business again. And I'm like, oh my gosh, no, 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 I'm not joining you. But you know, part of counseling, I know that every six months, everyone goes through some kind of change in their life. And this is what I learned in grad school. This is what I've studied. And you know, I, it's funny because I, all that I learned in grad school, I can apply to this job, right? So everyone, every six months, something happens in your life. It could be as little as, I don't know, maybe you saved up money and you bought the $500 pair of shoes that you want. Maybe you got another job. Maybe it could be as big as losing your dog or going through a breakup, your parents, you know, losing a family member. But every six months, research shows that we kind of reevaluate our life. Um, maybe it could be a friend, a friend that you knew is engaged and here you are 45 and you're single and you're just like, when am I ever going to find somebody? Any, If you really do a timeline, I've done this several times in therapy, but if you do a timeline of the last 10 years and you really think about it there's usually two to three things in each year that happen a birth of a child getting a puppy anyways all the things so Allie asked me and for you know the six months seven months I said no it just wasn't my time but um to make a long story short Caroline her PKU is very expensive we made too much money as educators to get any kind of assistance and I was ready to have another baby she was two and a half and Steve looked at me um the fiscally responsible person person that he is. And he said, uh, we can't afford another kid. And I'm like, what? And I remember crying myself to sleep that night. I rolled over, I got my phone and I was scrolling Facebook and, um, Allie had just hit double. So the reason that I love to tell this story is you guys, people are watching you, whether you know it or not, never give up on somebody. I know that a lot of you guys, you've been in the business a long time. So you know that, 
that. But it is still something that I feel like we all need a reminder on. If your gut tells you somebody's going to be good at this, don't give up on them. It may take one year, it may take six months, it may take five years, but they will eventually um, enroll with you. So I joined and the rest is kind of history. I went ambassador in 13 months um, and I did, I was a steps of success girl, you guys. I, I was a complete steps of success, never a, love you. Um, never a mass enroller. And I just did the things and I taught my team duplication. Um, you know, hey, close my door late. Thank you. When I joined, um, I, it was it's kind of a running joke, but I, I set the standards high for my team. I told people they had to get their four customers in, um, you know, 72 hours. Their first 72 hours, they had to get their four customers um, and they had to go Ruby in their first month. And I, I mentioned that because I kind of have gone back to those expectations the last four months, okay? So we'll kind of go back on that. But those were my expectations that I set for my team. And we did it, we did, we did those things. And so, like I said, I um, went ambassador in 13 months. 18 months later, I walked away from being a school counselor and I've had the ups and the downs, you guys. I really have. Um, we ended up moving after I 18 months into the business. We moved three hours away. My husband got an assistant principal job. I went from working full time, being a head volleyball coach, an assistant basketball coach, doing this, driving back and forth to infertility treatments, because that's another part of my story that popped up. And then I went from being this stay at home mom, work at home mom with all this time right? And my checks were great. Everything was great. I, instead of working the business, I ate lunch with friends. I, Caroline was in preschool, Mother's Day out a couple mornings a week. So I would go to the gym. I'd get my nails done, live in the high life. Well, I will tell you that you're always paid for the work that you do six months prior. So when we open our prelims tomorrow, you guys, you're not getting paid for April of 2021. You're getting paid six months from the work you put in six months ago. So I always want you to remember that because I think that's so important in this business because you need to think about what you were doing six months. And if you don't like what you were doing in six months, six months ago, or if you don't like the way your prelims look, you need to start right now. And then it's six months down the road, your checks can reflect the work you're putting in now. So to make a long story short, I, um, you know, eventually opened up my 2.0. I went uh, double diamond. I had teams, but I wasn't quite the leader I once was my first two and a half years in the business. You just go up and down. So I'm going to tell you who has had people leave on their team. You guys have been here for a long time. I don't feel like I'm talking to really anybody new. So who's had people leave? Who's had people leave the business? Maybe they went somewhere else. Maybe, I mean, I had so many leaders leave for other companies. Um, I lost my rank of ambassador. I got it back last year, but since then I've lost it again. And, you know, I just have had all the things. Well, I was kind of at the point in August, and this is the major shift in my story. So last, you know, spring with COVID, my team really got into host to post. I was enrolling anywhere from 60 to 70 to 80 customers starting in March of 2020 to, um, you know, April, May, June, whatever. I was enrolling a massive amount of customers and it wasn't just me. It was other people on my team. You guys, in September, I need to back up that real quick. In September of 2019, Ashley Renal and I, she's an ambassador to and we decided to really commit to our business like this is a full-time job, okay? So we became accountability partners. It was the best thing I ever did. We work five to six hours a day, Monday through Friday on Zoom. I stopped, um, I stopped doing our, I stopped making appointments throughout um, the workday. I don't go to the dentist. I mean, I, I do go to the dentist, but you know, I, I really, I do it after noon or early, early in the morning, but from like nine to like three, that's my work time. I will go to the gym at 5.15 in the morning if I have to. Um, you know, sometimes I go to the gym at eight o'clock and here's the deal, you guys. I've worked hard for my freedom. So if a friend comes in town and wants to do lunch with me, of course, I'm gonna drop everything that day, right? I'm going to the winter circle next week. Of course, this week I've had to go get my lashes done. I had to go get my nails done. I'm, I'm doing it in those, those, you know, pockets of my day. But for the most part, my work week is my work week. So I committed to that in September of 2019. I for sure thought that by September of 2020, I, after a year of doing that, I really thought that my checks would be so much more than what they were. 
So then they, they weren't, they weren't, okay? I was continuously enrolling my steps of success. I was teaching my team. I had a couple diamonds pop here and there, a couple things going on. Um, and then host to post happened. Who remembers the big boom of host to post in when COVID, we were all in lockdown, right? It was crazy, but my team was exploding with host to post. I remember after three months of almost having, really having 80 plus enrollments, I remember opening my check in July and being like, really? Why, why am I still here? Like, this is nothing, nothing's going up really. You know, here I am enrolling, it's still I'm enrolling distributors. I've always been, I've always hit my three. There are very few months in my seven and a half year career that I don't enroll three distributors. I probably could count on two hands in seven and a half years, honestly, you guys. But I never was enrolling more than probably four or five a month. And I was just like, what is the deal? And I say this because my mindset was so focused on what was winning for me and what was winning for the company. And that was massive, massive loyal customers, right? I think we all kind of experienced it. They did the pick two, pick three, whatever. So I remember being frustrated. And then I don't know about you guys, but COVID kind of affected me a little bit later than most people. I think I was just frustrated with a lot of things going on. The politics were high, COVID was high. So July, we go on a couple's trip every year with four other couples or three other couples. It was our fourth year doing it. I'm the only network marketer in the group, okay? There's eight of us, eight to 10 of us. The others are principals, teachers. There's a, a, you know, my best friend's a pharmacist. We have, you know, a business owner. We have all the people that can actually travel and they honestly can turn their phone off and not worry about anything. So they don't have to capture the perfect selfie. They don't have to capture the perfect moment. Who's ever been in a group like that? And it like, it, it makes you like, oh my gosh. You're envious of them. So I had just come off of seeing my pick, my commissions in July where I've had the best enrolling months in my career. It didn't go up. I had people like just kind of falling apart. And I remember being on that trip. We were in Montana, you guys, big sky, and it was beautiful. And of course I had to take the videos. I had to do all this. And I just remember like the last two days, I was just like, you know what, screw it. I'm not going to worry about it. I'm going to be in the moment because guess what? We can do that, you guys. And I learned that that trip. But in my mind, I was missing out on all the things. I was missing out on those moments that I can use for later. And I was like resenting that these people that are like, I love dearly and have been my travel buddies for four years, that they can just relax and really take a vacation. Because I was dreading getting home and having the 100 text messages, the 200 Facebook messages, all the things. I think we've all been there. So I landed, we didn't have great service. I landed in Montana and, or in back in um, Alabama because Caroline was at my mom's house and I landed and I remember getting a message from my second person I ever enrolled. The first two people I enrolled, my very first two, two distributors went Ambassador Diamond with me, okay? So I had two personally enrolled Ambassador Diamonds. I used to be the only person in the company like as of like three years ago that had two personally enrolled Ambassador Diamonds I, I don't even think Denise Walsh has that, or, or maybe she does. Uh, anyways, a black diamond I know is either Steph or Denise. Don't They don't even have two personally enrolled ambassador diamonds. So I got the message that that girl, that person was leaving It Works to go to Melaleuca. Bleh, right? I mean, I know this is being recorded, but I just was like so over it. I was so over it at that moment. And I remember calling immediately Allie. And I was immediately going to go spend the night at my mom's house, hang out. And then I had to drive to the beach for my sister-in-law's surprise party. And I promise you, I'm getting to the point. It was a beach party. And I remember being like, Allie, I am off the radar for the next eight days. If people want to talk to me, they need to talk to you. I, and she's like, what is going on? I've never heard this. And I'm like, I'm done. I'm done. I don't have passion for this anymore. I'm not happy. I worked my butt off. I did all these things. I, I'm looking for counseling jobs. I'm going to go back and be a school counselor. Like that was going to solve all my problems. Right. But I mean, at the end of the day, like when you're in that state, that's all you can think of. And I was just like, I'm done with network marketing. I will collect my residual. I, I, I've had a good fight, but I I'm just over it. So she goes, well, okay. I want you to take a deep breath and go enjoy your family time at the beach and, you know, just really really put your phone up and just go on the beach and sit on the chair without kids and just drink beer all day long. Cause that's what I love to do on the beach. Have a couple beers. So 
that's what I did. And I still didn't feel like warm and fuzzy inside when I got back. So I got back to Missouri and I had people, y'all, I had Pam Souter calling me. I had Cammie calling me. I had Mark texting me. I had all these people because everyone thought that I was leaving and going to another company and all this stuff. So let me get to the story. Jade Hooper reaches out to me and she has changed everything for me. I've always been close with Jade Hooper, but I, you know, it was always, um, we we're not on the same team. We don't help each other, whatever, but she caught wind of what was going on. And she called me and she said, you have a purpose here. So I tell you guys that because never be so caught up in your life and in your business, where if you see someone on your sideline struggling talk about it. Don't let it become an elephant in the room, but remind people that they have a purpose here. Refocus the attention of what they need to hear. And she talked to me and she said, Amy, going to school, going back to being a school counselor, what is that going to solve? That's not going to solve anything. You're going to end up having that adrenaline rush of being back into a profession that you did love, but you're still going to have the same issues. You're still going to wake up one day, not be excited about going to work. And it's so true, you guys. My husband was never a husband that quit his job. He still is an assistant principal. He gets up every day and works for our family. But I, don't, I know he doesn't love his job every day. No one does, right? And so Jade's like, it's a job, Amy. And she said, if you go to another company, you're going to have a great one to two good years. But you're going to you're going to eventually get back to fourth grade. And, you know, that feeling of like going through kindergarten, kindergarten's fun. You get two recesses, two snacks. You're like, oh, kindergarten's easy. It's fun. You get to first grade. You learn a little bit more. You get to second grade. It gets a little bit harder. Third grade. Oh, my gosh. Caroline's in third grade and they're doing long division. I don't even remember how to do long division, you guys. And now the way they teach math, I definitely don't know how. And so it's like you start going higher and higher. And yeah, it's easy. To go back to kindergarten that's what giving up is like when you that, that's what moving to another company or, or making another change is going back to kindergarten because it's easier it's easier when you have you know a leader in a company you have a following or you want to go back into another career but eventually to get to middle school you have to get back through fifth grade so she, when she said that to me, just like clicked to me and she goes, Amy, I heard through the grapevine that you were like enrolled 70, 80 customers. And she goes, why as an ambassador diamond and you have been in the company for six years at that time, yeah, six years, why are you enrolling 70 customers and three distributors? She's like, why? That doesn't even make sense. She's like, no wonder you're frustrated. No wonder you are frustrated about the money you're making. You're making pennies when you could be making thousands of dollars. And, she, and I said, I just have never been a mass enroller. I've never, compl I've never com completed my, the one month I, com I, I enrolled more than like seven distributors was the month I went ambassador. And I was just like, that, that's just how it's always been. And she goes, you got to shift your focus. And she goes, you need to be bringing in distributors and teaching them to get their customers, teaching them to do the things through host to post. You're, you were leading corporate Zooms on host to post, Amy. Why aren't you turning those leads? She goes, do you know what host to post is? And I was like, I mean, it's a, it's a system for us to get customers. And she said, no. And she said something that has forever changed my business. So I want you guys to listen. Host to post, all host to post is, you guys, is a lead generating tool. That's all it is. I think that the company has, and when I say company, I mean all of us, but you know, the company is not forcing us to do host to post, but I think we've gotten lazy. We have allowed other people to post about our products, to post about our opportunity, to post about things. So we stopped doing that. You know what I mean? Like if you're getting five hosts to post up a day, which is great, that's five new people posting about your products. But I think that's what we started relying on to get our enrollments. But with anything, with anything, TikTok, Reels, you're always going to have to pivot because eventually, eventually host to post slows down. It slowed down for me. So I had to pivot. So when she said that, I was just like, okay. I said, well, what do you really mean by that? And she said, all you're doing is collecting leads. When you collect leads, those are people that are going to become distributors on your team. Y'all, ever since she said that, they're not, there has not been one month since August that I have not enrolled at least 15 distributors. And I will tell you, it is so clear 
why we need to be preaching to our teams to enroll at least three to five distributors. Because last month I enrolled 20 distributors. Seven of them have already canceled, blocked me, or um, told me this wasn't for them. So if you're only enrolling three distributors, what are the chances of any of them doing anything? So when you think of things like that, then you shift your mindset. So ever since then, host to post has looked different for me. So what do I use host to post for now? I use host to post to get at least 400 to 500 new friends on my Facebook. You guys, I love Instagram. I, I love TikTok and I still do a couple TikToks a week. I, I, I copy my TikToks into the reels. If you guys don't know, there's a thing you can do to take your watermark off. I don't know. I don't, no one needs to be like doing all these extra things when, you know, it's so much easier to just take the watermark off and do TikTok and then put on your reels. And I, I do all that. I, but Facebook is where it's at. Host to post is where it's at. And you can do, you can get leads from those other platforms, but if you're not bringing them over to Facebook, you're missing out. So what I've taught my team, who, by the way, I've never had a cab run in my seven years of this business. And I know I am starting the brink of a cab run for the first time. You guys, I'm having fun again. I'm, I, I love where I'm at. I love this business. I have passion again. And you know, we all hear, of course, with y'all, Kay being one of your leaders, we all hear Pam has preached and preached about, you know, if you're looking for ways to find a divorce, you're going to get divorced. You're not going to be in love with your spouse every day. You've got to create that. You've guys, we are in charge of that. And I have never realized that you hear somebody preaching that you look up to that all the time, but it takes you really figuring that out. And I am in charge of my happiness. I am in charge of my, my momentum in this business. And I had to cut out a lot of people. And that doesn't mean they're not my friends anymore. But when you've been in this business for seven years, some of the people you're hanging out with, and just like Mark said at the, uh, at the premiere, he said, and, and this makes so much sense to me. He said, when you think of a team, there's 12 people on a team roughly, okay? Two of them on your team, two to three are gonna do everything you say. You know why? Because they freaking love you. They, they're the teacher's pets, right? They want all your attention. They're gonna do everything you say, everything you say. Three people on your team are going to do the exact opposite of what you say, even though you're so successful and they're going to do their own thing. They're going to think that your train sucks. They're not going to want to be a part of the team meetings. They're going to be those people that the, the, the teachers don't like. They're the students that the teachers don't like, but they can't say that out loud. So you, we all have those on our team, right? The, the negative Nancy's, all those things. Then there's going to be eight people who are on a team for a good, like a good time, a good experience. Who has those people on our team that like, they're just hanging out at Ruby, but that's okay with them because they just want to be a part of the culture. They just want to be a part of the team. And then you got those people in the whole mix of those people, half of them, it's going to be their season. Half of them, it's not going to be their season. So that's another thing you got to think about when you're, when you're dealing with people on your team, you've got to know whose season it is and whose season it's not. And you got to adjust and pivot and coach them. So what I went back to do in a, in August, I, 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 I switched my mindset. I started doing nothing but giveaway host to post. Y'all's team does giveaways. Everybody who hosts a post for me, I don't get people to post about my products anymore. I just don't, you guys. I can go put up a product post on Facebook right now and probably get at least five to 25 comments. It's because I'm adding to my network, right? So nobody posts about the products. And I'm not gonna lie, like, yeah, maybe the last four or five days of the month, if I'm if I'm really helping some people get some volume for promotions and stuff, yeah, well, I'll do, I'll sw I'll pivot again. But for the most part, everyone is posting about my giveaway. Then I'm teaching everyone brand new. For brand new on day one or two, I have my new distributors posting an interaction post that says I'm partnering with my friend, Amy, which is me. These are my personally enrolled. And I gave Kay the steps. I just went back to simplicity, you guys. So I, I, I don't teach them. I don't give them all these hour long trainings. I don't walk them through hours of guides on our team pages. I literally have them log into eSuite, take themselves off commission hold, add themselves to our Facebook team pages, download the apps that they need, the boards app, the, you know, Zoom, Telegram, all that. And then I send them a video on host to post and then I get them to post it. And I am walking them through that process. And I tell them, and then the biggest important thing that's happened to me in the shift in my business is within the first 48 hours, I get somebody on a FaceTime or a Zoom. 
And we are not going over everything, you guys. But you, I had, I missed that connection. I needed to know why they joined me. Because if you're enrolling strangers on social media, you've got to work twice as hard to have that connection so they don't just become a box to you on a chart. Because if you don't work at that, that's what they're going to become. So now I'm invested in these people. I'm meeting them within my first 48 hours on social media. I'm having, I'm not asking them business questions, you guys. I'm asking them about their life. I'm asking, you know, are you a mom? Are you a college student? Are you married? Do you have a boyfriend? Where do you live again? What, what, what's your job? Tell me about your schedule. How are we going to make this work? Because I've got to know how they're going to fit in the host to post because that's all I have my new distributors doing. I'll tell you a story about a girl who immediately started host to post um, in March. She joined me March 18th. She ended the month with 29 customers, you guys, just on host to post, teaching her to do that. That is why I have, I have three people, three personally enrolled going diamond this month. I have two personally enrolled, another two personally enrolled doubles. People are winning again because they're using the host to post as a lead generating tool. And then here's what we're doing them. From day one, I'm teaching my new people and I'm teaching everyone that when somebody puts up a post for you to host a post, when you're thanking them, so if I ask Kay and Kay comes back and says, Amy, I put up your giveaway posts. I tagged you or I didn't tag you. I don't sweat about the small stuff. I don't, we don't talk about algorithm on my, on my team. Okay. I hate that word. We don't talk about it. Y'all, if you feel like sharing something, share it. I don't care if it's 2 AM or 2 PM. If you feel like adding to your story, add it. Do you know how many brain cells we lose every day talking about the algorithm? Like who cares? Like it changes every day. So why are we trying to keep up with it? If I put up a TikTok and it gets 55 views, I don't take it down. Literally, if you go see me on TikTok, one of my videos has like 132 views. And then the very next one has 120,000. Like it's, it's silly to waste time. If somebody wants to tag you, great. If somebody doesn't, doesn't, whatever. So Kay comes back and says, I, I put up your post. I immediately go to her wall. I save it to a collection on Facebook. And then I go to her and I say something very simple. I call it the Jade message because Jade's like, you're not asking people. Your team is not asking people. Right. So I just started asking and I said, everyone who puts up a post for me, everyone before they get before they check out as a loyal customer, they get the Jade question and, it, and you're going to get more no's than you will ever get yeses. But guess what? You plant seeds and eventually you're going to get all those yeses and the no's that told you no two months ago. You're so consistent on social media that they're going to eventually come back to you. So the question is like, hey, Kay or thanks Kay, I appreciate it. Sometimes I voice message, sometimes I just, it's in my word board. Sometimes I just, you know, put it on there and I'm just like, hey, thanks Kay. Um, this is totally random. Have you ever thought about making extra income doing something like I do? So why do I say doing something like I do? Because they don't know what I do at this point. They don't, I mean, yeah, they could go search my Facebook wall, but most of the time they really don't, okay? And if, because I always get eight out of 10 times, seven out of 10 times I get, well, what do you do? And then I give them my, my, my little, you know, spiel about what I do. And a lot of times they say no. Sometimes they say yes. Sometimes they're like, I'll get back to you. But it's, it's planting seeds, which that's what you're supposed to do with leads. So if we shift our focus to literally, you know, host to post is a lead generating tool. And here's the deal. You don't have to get up 10 a day. But if you're having five people put up a giveaway post five days a week, you guys, you are going to watch your organizations explode and you're teaching your team from day one to do that. I never miss a fast start really anymore, you guys, unless they quit on me, right? But it's because people are getting their first six customers because then what are they doing? You add to your network and you're posting about products every other day, which is what our job is. It is not my neighbor's job to post about my gummies when she's not a part of it works. I'm not saying that doesn't work. So hear me out. I still do that if I need volume at the last of the month. But I want all of you guys to write down the number of Facebook friends you have right now. And then I want you to see where you end in the month. If you have not successfully added four to 500 new people, you've got to do better next month. That is my goal.
And last month I ended up with 50 enrollments, 20 distributors and 30 customers. So, I mean, it's, it's my goal. It's what I do now. And it's not, it, it doesn't feel, I'm not glued to my phone all the time. Like I have my set hours and the nights that I want to do zooms, but that is what, that is all I do. That's all I'm preaching to my 2.0. And we are so on fire right now. And it's strictly because of host to post. It is still working. If somebody tells me it doesn't work, do you know what I tell them? We have to take matters into our own hands. So we have to go green light message. So who on here has ever like hit the brick wall with host to post and you're not getting any comments on your interaction giveaway post. You're like, oh, it doesn't work for me. I mean, we've all said that. So we can all say that, right? So we have to take matters into our own hands and we have to teach our new people right away to take matters in our own hands. Because when we want something to happen, a lot of times we have to make it happen, right? That's just life. So you'd come up with a green light message. I can share K, my, I can share with K mine. And you go and you start with your alphabet. You go to friends, you start with the A's. You go until you can get five people. You don't, that's the only task you're doing today. That's what I tell people. If you've hit a brick wall, that's all you're doing. You're going to message as many friends as you can, this, this green light message, and you are going to not stop messaging until you have five people that say, yes, they will. And you get to be picky. You get to pick and choose who you're at, who you're asking. And then you're going to all of a sudden have a burst again. So stop just putting up posts. If you're not getting any responses, go take matters into your own hands. I hardly you know we call them interaction posts i don't know what you guys call them but you know those posts like tell me your favorite ice cream color for it yeah i post one of those a month that's it because i i i work off of what i have the following month because you're always doing a giveaway or i go green light message like i don't i'm not waiting around for me to put up an ice cream flavor post and waiting for comments i'm gonna go make things happen because my goal is five new hosts to post five days a week and do you see how I say five days a week? I don't do host to post seven days a week. So why am I going to ask my team to? I tell them if you get five up five days a week, take two days off. That doesn't mean you can't post. That doesn't mean you take off from posting and adding to your story. But we're allowed to take time off. If, you're, if your time off is on the weekends, which mine is, guys. My husband works Monday through Friday. My kid goes to school Monday through Friday. I spend all day Monday through Friday by myself with my golden doodle. I'm sure as heck not going to be behind my phone on Saturday and Sunday, right? So that is what, and, and, and you and start enjoying things again. This doesn't have to be a work, 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 work 24 seven to find success. And you know what the biggest thing before I stop speaking so y'all can ask questions, the biggest thing that has come from this is layered leadership. I am gonna have people go triple on my 2.0 before my 2.0 goes triple. And I am so freaking excited about it. You guys, I'm not moving on to that next diamond because I, I want diamonds and double diamonds stacked in my legs. I want strong legs again. I used to have strong, strong legs and I want that again. I want, and I have layer leadership. I've never been able to co-sponsor people in my life. So I've never been able to enroll someone and like let somebody else help but like I can do that now and it's so freeing and it's because of the simplicity, the simple system. It's a five-step system. We don't watch Zooms all the time. We don't do trainings. We don't, I don't sit them in front of their computer and have them watch hours of stuff. Like let's just get going. So, all right, I'm gonna let you ask questions. Okay, so, um, <laughs> sorry, I just get going. I get all hot too. Oh, you get hot. I know. I love that feeling. You get all fired up and you're just in the zone. That was so good. Yes. Um, oh, someone wants in the waiting room now. Okay. Um, the zoom just keeps, I know like the, I can tell the, the mouths are running outside of the zoom because people just keep coming in. They're like, wait, you can't miss this. This is too good. <laughs> um, okay. So the question I'm going to read to you just came in, um, which I knew was going to be a confusing factor and you knew it too. Yep. Um, cause you and I have talked about this. If they're only putting up the giveaway post, this is the shift in the way that I know they're going to be working their business. If they're only putting up the giveaway post, how are they getting customers? Um, so so that's oh, oh, yeah. Yep. So here's the deal. What I know to be true, you guys, if you are adding four to 500 people monthly, the customers are going to come because you're doing your job. I post about our products every other day. And most of the time I post about something in my story or something every there's something about it works products every day somewhere on my social media right. 
So if you're doing your job, which is posting about the products, that is our job. That's not your neighbor's job who wants an entry into the giveaway. And I think for so long, that is what we, we shifted our focus as host to post is going to get us all these customers. But you guys, I'm, I'm speaking to lead. I mean, I'm speaking to people, emeralds, diamonds, whatever. I'm speaking to people who've been in the business for a while. Why are we going to enroll massive amounts of pennies when we can do make tons of new friends? The customers will come and then you're going to enroll so many distributors. You've got to trust me on this because here's the deal. I'm in month four. And I have never, I haven't had this growth in seven years, you guys. And it's going to feel a little awkward. It's going to feel a little bit different because, you know, you're going to be like, well, you're, some of you probably are used to enrolling 10 customers a week through host to post. Well, you may not your first week. You may not. But you, the, the key part is to making sure you set a goal of five new host to post five days a week. I'm not telling you to do it seven days a week. And that's 25 people putting up a giveaway post. And I promise you, if you start doing that and you write down the number of your friends. So I have 5,000 friends every month. I have to go delete them. So every month I delete 400. People ask me all the time, how do you do that? You guys, I don't even think twice about it. I mean, some of you guys are hanging on to people who you went to high school with, who you haven't talked to in 20 years, and you're just hanging on to them because you're nosy. Like, let's really face it. You're nosy. You want to know what they're doing. You want to know, are they divorced yet? Do they have five kids? I mean, it's the truth. We need to let go of those people, okay? We need to let go of them and make room for the new people. So get rid of the people. I don't think twice about who I get rid of. I just, I mean, literally the first week of the month, I go delete, 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 delete. I haven't even done it this month because I've been so busy um, with my team and my one-on-ones because that's another thing that I've changed. I, that's important. Every Monday and Tuesday of the week and the beginning of the month, I, okay, so the beginning of the month, I'm Zooming with every leg that has a promotion. So even if it's a Ruby, I'm Zooming with that Ruby team. I'm Zooming with that Emerald team and we have a game plan, right? And then every Monday and Tuesday, I have set aside time and you get to, you get to be the boss and the creator of your schedule, but I do one-on-ones now for anybody, but guess who gets my time? People that can prove that they've done something for three days in a row. So if you're not filling out a tracker, if I go to your wall and I don't see a product post or opportunity post, if I go and look in my e-suite and you haven't enrolled anyone in three days and you still haven't posted and you can't show me a tracker that's filled out, then guess what? You don't get my time. My time's precious. Your time is precious, you guys. And when you start, I've never thought of it like that, y'all. I used to let anybody get my time. But when I started this shift in August, everything started shifting. People started wanting to work. People started doing all these things. People wanted to show me that they were doing all the things. And so then they get another chance. I'm like, you haven't done all the things this week, but you get another chance for next week, right? So that's another thing. But your customers will come and you have to trust that because I remember asking Jade that. I remember asking Jade, how am I going to enroll people? Like I have to have volume for my people's promotions. But do you know why I was so stressed out? Because last, last March, April, May, June, I had all those promotions, but y'all, do y'all know who was doing all the volume? Me. It's not fun when you're doing all the work. It's not. So we've got to get back to teaching a simple system. Um, Mike did a team Zoom for us one time or a team call. And he said, Amy, when I walk into my closet every morning, we already have so many decisions during the day to make. So all I have in my closet is black t-shirts, jeans, and, you know, black sweaters. I don't know. And he said, because I don't want to think twice about what I put on in the morning. We already spend so much time making decisions throughout our day. You've got to have simple systems somewhere. And it just clicked. And I mean, why are we making things harder for new people? So if you are treating host to post like a lead generating tool and you are adding anywhere from three to 500 people a month, your customers are coming because you're going to be posting about the products. You're going to be putting up a before and after picture. Who got away from putting up before and after pictures? I know I did. Put them back. They, they work. That's why we have them. Be proud that you are the belly company, the wrap company. That's another thing. I used to hate being like, oh, I, I work for It Works. No, this company's changed my life. I love It Works. 
So who cares if people want to talk bad about it works? I love it works. So if you don't want to be a part of my team, then buy someone else does. And, I, and it's proof of my enrollments, you guys. People want to be a part of this company, but the only difference in my enrollments and y'all's is that I'm asking every single person. So I'm doing my host to post every month and I am asking every single person and our goal on a team is 200 a month because if you're getting up 25, well, that's a hundred a month. I'm sorry. It's a hundred. That was for our contest that we're doing in Arizona. Sorry. Our goal is 125 a month. So that's a little bit more than a hundred. That's a little bit more than 25 a week. That's a goal. I like to set high goals because that, you, you know, you never want to set a low goal. You want to set a high goal. So that is our goal as a team. And you can do that easily. And then if you do that and you're posting about the products, everything else will come. And then you're asking the Jade question. You are asking every single person who's afraid. Tell me real quick in the chat, who, who enrolls at least 10 plus customers a month? Who enrolls at least 10 plus customers a month? Or you can tell me how many you enrolled last month. I just am wondering how I'm in, what am I talking about? Nine, great, I do. So here's the deal. If you're enrolling 10 plus customers a month, there's no reason why you shouldn't be enrolling three to five distributors, 35, okay. Tavia, I think I said that right. I'm known for butchering names. How many distributors did you enroll? I'm not gonna, anywhere from 30 to 50, oh my gosh. Okay, four, that's that's more than steps. Caffeinated mama, how many distributors did you enroll last month? All right, that right there, girl, never have a month with zero. If you're enrolling 30 to 50 customers a month, honey, have you been frustrated with your paycheck? Because I know I was. There is no, no you aren't stuck. No way, you gotta stop that. Because if you're enrolling 30 to 50, you're enrolling more than half the company. Half of, the, half of the distributors in the company don't even enroll six customers, more than half probably. So if you can do that, I want you, what, what's your name? Caffeinated Mama, I'll just start calling you that. Caffeinated Mama, I want you to ask, I will give Kay the message and Jessica, what, what, I, want you to, I want you to ask every single person who puts up a host to post for you and every single customer before you check them out, before you send them the link, I want you to ask them the Jade question. And I, it is so simple. And you're going to feel like you're going to throw up the first week doing it because you're going to get all the no's. You're going to feel like you're losing your customers because heaven forbid, if you ask them about an opportunity to make money, they're not going to want your products anymore. I will tell you that has never happened. That is a false idea we put in our heads. Do you guys know why Target and Walmart has all that junk at the checkout line? Because they already got you. So if you've already got you, if, or if you've already got that person committing to the gummies and the cleanse and all that, and you ask them if they've ever thought about making extra income, they're not going to quickly block you. And if they do, then you don't need them anyways. So that is 30 to 50 people right there you could have asked to join you. And that's not even including the hundreds of people that probably put up host to post for you, right? So never again will we have a month where we enroll zero distributors. Everyone on this Zoom for this month, since it's the beginning of the month, should enroll three, three distributors minimum. Three minimum. If you're doing what I just talked to you for 45 minutes about doing. All right. So. Um, okay. So we have a question. Two pieces of yeah. clarity. Okay. Um, okay. So how do you keep up with replying to the comments? I have so many that blew up. This was Tavia asking this. I have okay. so many that blew up and I honestly couldn't get to it all before month end or getting blocked. And honestly, I've been there too, Amy, where it's like asking people to do the giveaway post. Those typically have the most comments of anything. So how do you keep up with that and, and balance out your schedule? So, so can, you, not can you make me a host real quick? Yeah. So I can share my screen. Okay, guys, I'm about to let you on a little secret. You are host, sister. Okay, so I'm going to share my screen. And if you guys are type A, my phone screen is really going to give you some anxiety, okay? It gives my husband anxiety, but it works for me. Okay, so you're going to Facebook. I'm just going to show you guys my, uh, not memories, my um, saved. All right, what I tell my team is there's no way in every single day that we can get to every comment. 
nor do we want to. What is the point of host to post? A lead generating tool, okay? So Christy, you know, posted this for me. Let's see if, hopefully I want to scroll a long time to get to it. Cause I want, okay, there it is. 72 comments plus I, I comment on some of them, right? Christy and I now have how many mutual friends? 11 mutual. She's got 798 friends. Why do I want 80 of Christy's friends? 70 of Christy's friends. I don't. My goal is to get 10, 15 of P if someone who has 798, I want 10 of their mutual friends, 15, maybe max, because then I want them to put up a post so I can get into their circle. So if you think of it as circles, you don't want to stay in a circle too long. Okay. Pretend like it's like that game that kids play like hot fire, right? Or I don't know what it is. My husband, my daughter plays it, but like you, hot lava, hot lava. You don't want to stay in it too long because it's going to burn you. You, you want to get to more people and more people. So Christie's blew up, but I'm not going to waste time on this. I like, look at all these comments. I didn't even reply back to, do you know what the cool thing is guys? That was in April that she posted that I can now go. This is my word board. I, I do use boards, but I like word board a lot too. I can now go back to Michelle. Why? Because guess what? We have a giveaway. You can go back and work on previous posts in a new month. So I, I mean, like I, I did comment on a lot of them, but I'm not going to waste time doing all 72 or all 30 or whatever. Right. I just pick a few and then move on. So, you know, here going back to saved, it's the same, it's the same thing. I mean, I probably, I mean, I miss those. I just, I, I, you got to let go. You're, you don't need to get to everybody. There's no reason why Ashley and I need I mean, right now we have two mutual friends. There's no reason. I mean, I'll come back to some of these actually probably tomorrow because Friday is usually my follow-up day. And then Friday I follow up, but I also will go back to old host to post. But like Marcy, now how many mutual friends? We've got nine mutual friends. That's really all I need from Marcy. You know, I'll go back and see if there's anyone that I really think that I missed. But my goal is to get into all the different circles. So I'm continuously trying to get people to just, you know, send me a message. Please add me as a friend. Here I go. I missed a couple right there. Um, I don't know who these people are. I don't do men. If men comment, I stay away from that. I'm married. I don't need a bunch of random men on my profile. But look, that was one week ago. And I'm still messaging people because we always are doing giveaways. There's, let me look how many people, like there's another one. Oh, I don't even know if I may have missed that one. Oh, it looks like I missed that one completely. See, it happens. Guess what? There we go. Oops. They're still going to want money. We're not doing uh, um, 1400 but guess what we are doing? Two people get $500. So they're still going to want that giveaway. So does that make sense, guys? Like you don't, it's just all about how you think about it. It doesn't, I don't, if you choose to be overwhelmed, you're going to be overwhelmed. I choose not to be overwhelmed. I am just moving into a new circle and I'm not worried about, I'm not worried about if I miss a comment, I can always go back and work on it. I can always go back and work on it. And, um, and I think just to kind of full circle, I have another question for you, but just to full circle everybody. And I'm, not going to use the word algorithm here, but just to um, to put it into perspective, this is what she's doing. She's shaking everything up. She's getting eyeballs on her feed. That's what's happening. So just to clarify, when she does make a post or a story about the product or the opportunity, she's got all these new eyeballs on her feed that are seeing probably a post about the product for the first time because it didn't come from a host to post it's coming from her feed. And so they're commenting going, well, wait, this girl that did this $1,400 Louis Vuitton giveaway is got this skinny gummy. That's going to make me skinny. Like I want it. And so that's what's happening or wait, she's able to work from home and this is what she does. And she does these giveaways, but I could work from home too. And I've been wanting to, so I'm going to comment or I'm going to message her. So that's what's happening. And she's, she's keeping them on her feed rather than on her friend's feed. And that's what you want. You want eyeballs on you, not on your friends that haven't even joined you. So that's the purpose of it. Yeah, your aunt Tammy, this is, I always, if y'all are, if there's a Tammy on here, I love the name Tammy. I've always loved it. But, but your aunt Tammy is tired of seeing your posts. So you got to go find another aunt mm -hmm. Tammy somewhere. Like, you know what I mean? So it's just like, and when I, 
when I switch this method, Jay didn't even tell me to switch this, but I have since have done a Zoom with her team, just like I'm doing with you guys. And her team started doing this a month ago. And I have to actually talk to her today because I wanted an update. And just like I'll ask Kay in a month how you guys are doing. And she's like, Amy, it's changing everything. Like people who weren't getting comments on product posts, they're getting like five and 10 now. And I'm like, yeah, because they're, their Aunt Tammy's not seeing it anymore. Like their, their new friends are seeing it. And so Jessica, when you say what happens when the OCD kicks in you got to think of it this way girl you don't want 50 of Tammy of Kay's friends if Kay posts for you you don't want 50 mutual friends because then all of their friends the all 50 people are going to be posting the same thing and, and if they're mutual friends with Kay I guarantee they have other mutual friends so don't stress out about every comment I have never never you guys have had anyone never have had anyone message me say why didn't you comment on my 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 comment on case post is this a scam no one's ever done that to me you know what happens they 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 feel people feel left out so people want to know why amy has put has messaged some comments but hasn't you know touched their comments so you know what they do y'all they friend request me and they message me giveaway there are so many people who do that because they see what I put underneath the comments. And why do we, I do that? I don't know if you guys do that too, but we don't want to waste time chasing them. We want them coming to us. So that is why I make them do the work. If they really want the entry, because I mean, I feel like my giveaway is awesome. So you want to enter into my awesome giveaway. So you're going to come find me. I'm not going to, I don't have time to chase you. So hopefully that makes sense, Jessica. Okay, I think that should. Yes, I will share my, I don't know if I have yet, but I will share my host to post board with Kay um, in, the boards, uh, in the boards app. Okay, so can you just explain, um, so we're very clear, because we I know that there are a lot of people that um, relate to this, is the green light message and just feeling that stuck. I think that, I think, well, first of all, I'd like to say, I think starting this new technique is going to be the game changer anyway, it is. but then there's going to be that moment where they're going to need that green light message and they're not going to want to wait around, you know, and I've noticed that like, and I'm not picking on anybody, but if there's not like a, a giveaway to post about in that moment, you guys are like, well, what do I do? And this is going to be leading up to the next giveaway, right? Cause there's always going to be a giveaway. There's always work for you to do. So, um, so Amy, Amy explain yep. the green light message. I will even show you guys. Um, so let me share my phone again. And I don't even know if I've, if I've changed my giveaway, my green light message from last month, but we will, we will do it. Okay. So when I tell you someone to green light on my team, there's a couple different ways you can do it. But you know, if you go see, I haven't even removed any friends this month. Um, but I will take that number every month. I will take that number and some of you guys aren't close to 5,000, but if you are, I, my goal is to go to 4,500 and it's May 6th. So I have to get there, right? Yeah, I have to get to, I have to delete friends tomorrow because I want to, you got to keep data on yourself, you guys. I mean, what profession doesn't keep data? right? My husband, he has to keep data every day on his students and the things that they're implementing. So you've got to, you've got to know your starting point and you got to compare it to your finishing point or you're not going to grow. And here's the thing, we're shifting the culture of this team, of your team. And that's what you've got to think about. And that doesn't happen overnight. So I can give you guys all these scripts. I can give you guys all these things, but if you don't make a commitment to changing the, the fact that you guys are going to become a distributor and rolling machine team, and I'm not talking 15 plus, us, that's going to come. That's the cool part. But I'm talking three to five a month, three to five a month. And then you're teaching your new people. You guys, I, I can't tell you how many of my new distributors, like we have a, we count up every day in our 2.0 chat. And we usually get to like 20 enrollments a day. You guys today, I think we're on like 17, like it's insane. Okay. So enough about that. I'm just really excited. So, um, when I, I do have people that get stuck. I mean, one of the girls that's pushing for diamond this month was like, Amy, none of my hosts, my, my interaction posts are getting comments. I'm used to having a hundred comments that I can work on throughout the month. What do I do? And I'm like, you know what to do, Lana. She's like, okay, green light until I get five. So you go to see all your friends 
and you're going to go alphabetical order. I don't care how you do it, guys. Sometimes I like to shake things up and sometimes I like to start on the B's. So I scroll till I get the B's, whatever you want. Okay. You're going to go and some, I may message some of these people. I may not. Um, you're going to go and look. Y'all probably think that I can, I can, un, I'm going to unfriend her. I mean, I've been messaging her since 2017. I, I can unfriend her. Um, so then this is another way that you can unfriend people too. Cause you see that you're like, okay, you followed up a lot. Right. So here I go. Um, some of these people, I'm just going to go. All right, here we go. You go and you do green light. So this is what I would put. Um, I haven't changed it this month. So, hey, happy May, question for you. So I'm giving away a Louis Vuitton or $1,400 cash at the end of the month just to get back and do something fun. Would you like an entry? And that is what you're going to do until you get five up. And then you are going, and I'm gonna send this to her because she wanted an entry in March, but she didn't post my post. So maybe she'll do it. There you go. Oh, I'm not giving away a Louis Vuitton, oops. Oh, well, she probably won't answer me. See, I make mistakes. We all make mistakes. Okay, there we go. That's what we do, you guys. So we send that message. That is what we do. We send that message to as many people as we need before until we get five people to agree. Okay, so this girl right here has commented twice on a giveaway post and she never wrote me. Well, that's the same day. And so maybe like this one, I'll say, hey, Allie, would you like an entry into my giveaway this month? Like, who cares if she's ignoring me? What's the worst thing she's gonna do, ignore me again? Like, okay, I mean, she still hasn't unfriended me. So obviously she likes what she sees. So there's another one. I have no clue who this is. Um, I don't think, uh, let me go double check because I need to teach you guys good, proper. Okay, I don't know her. She's not a networks person. Um, so then we go to giveaway, there we go. And that is what you call green light messaging. So my team always has something to do. They always know that if they're stuck, if they do an interaction post, then they are going to do this until they get five people. And because I think it, when five people post a giveaway post for you, um, you will get comments. I mean, there's just no way. And guess what, guys? I shouldn't say there's no way. If you if you get five people to post it for you and you get zero comments, guess what? Go ask five new people. Like, who cares? Doors are going to close in y'all's faces, but it's what you do with that closed door. Are you going to keep it closed and be stuck, choose to be stuck? Or are you going to open it and keep going? Because I know that all of you guys have at least a thousand people that you're friends with. And let me tell you, I know that you have not asked all thousand people, thousand plus people to put up an a giveaway post. You just have it. So there's no way that you can stay stuck with that. Um, okay. Uh, yeah, that was my green light message, Barb, but I will send it to Kay. And then, yes, I will show you guys how I delete people. You guys are also, also answer the question, um, what you have your newbies post. Okay. You ready? You guys, I'm going to walk you through it. I'm going to mess. I'm going to text message K like she's my new distributor. Okay. Here we go. Y'all are going to die. At how, it, it's not even... It's honestly, and oh, y'all like how I have Kay Souter. I never change people's names. I don't know why it's showing green. Oh, well, here we go. And it's not even like in the right order. I just know in my brain what the right order is. Okay, when they sign, I'm like, yay, excited. I just got the notification. There's step one. I don't know why. All right, here, I'll just do, I'll do Ashley. For now she's used to me doing that all right there's one okay tell me when you're done with that that's that's them adding me to their team pages then i go to number two download the it works app okay and then here we go so i like i do not like in this Y'all don't tell anybody I said this. I do not like the 30 day corporate wide thing, but I do take one thing from it and I just need to put it in my folder, but I just haven't yet. So when they tell me they did that, then I'm like, okay, great. 
you're going to download Zoom, you're going to download boards. Ashley's going to be like, what the heck are you doing? Um, then you're going to, then when they download all that, I go ahead and tell them to go to step three, S go to your sampling app. Let's send yourself some samples. Our, our distributors need tangible items, you guys, right? I hate that we don't have a kit. Hopefully we're going to get that. So I just go ahead and tell them to send them all. And they tell me how many, I'm like, send them all. If you want to keep a few in your app, do it. But, you know, send them all. Then I have them do this. They send me their favorite selfie and what they want out of the business. We call this your why. So I like doing this. I don't post it. I don't do anything. But when they quit on me in five days, guess what I remind them of? Their why, okay? Then after that, we go to step six, which is really step five. So I just change it to step five. I mean, why have I not added this, you guys? I mean, this is, I know this is killing some of you guys who are like so type A in order and organized. I'm not organized. Um, step five is a video that Claire Flores did. It's very, very simple video. If you guys have one on your team that you use, great. I like this one. I don't care that it's another leader. I, it, guess what? It saves me time for making a video. Great. Um, okay, so it just explains the process, and then they and then they tell me they're done. I'm like, does that make sense? Then we go immediately to step seven, or not step seven. We go immediately to step six. No, not six. Hold on, guys. That's step seven. I put post this and tag me, and then I change out our giveaway. So five hundred dollars cash to two people this month tell me your birthday month and then they tag me and then I help them I walk them through the comments how to do it I say when you start getting comments let me know and then I teach them to send them message one so like my host to post folder for my new distributors is this so I say when you get comments go privately message all of them this and this is, hey, thanks for calling me on our cash giveaway posts. I can't believe Ashley hasn't texted me back. Just figured I'd ask since pretty much everyone loves cash. They say, yeah, I want an entry. How do you get an entry? Message two, yay, I'm excited. I hope you win. This is what we're doing as a new distributor. And then while they're waiting on comments, guess what we're doing? So then I have them and then they give them this giveaway post and I tell them to replace friend and put their name. So then they, they, ha they give people that post to put up. You can do whatever you want. And then I'm like, okay, while we wait for people to get comments on that post, we're going to go back and I'm going to go to my new distributor training. And then I send them just a video of, honestly, I think it's, uh, no, that's not it. There's a video that Jay does that I really, really like. Once again, your team may have your own videos. I don't have my, my team doesn't have our videos. So there's a video that Jay that Jay does, it just talks about how to be successful in the business, doing things every day, whatever, blah, blah, blah. And then say, for instance, your new distributor gets no comments on their posts. Oh, look, Ashley goes, hi, Kay. When they get no, uh, <laughs> she says, hey. So when, say they get no comments on their posts or whatever, then I have them green light message people. I also, you know, there's a message in here where that they can send 30 people on their um, Facebook, this message, go to your Facebook, click all your friends. So I have them do that. So those are the, that's the simplicity of it. We don't have them watch trainings anymore, hour long trainings. We just have them jump right in. I make sure their profile settings are where if people do tag them, it's not showing up on their wall. And then I schedule a 15 minute FaceTime call or Zoom in the first 48 hours. Okay, and then you guys asked for how I delete friends. So, and you guys, I'm okay if you have more questions. Like I would rather you get it right now while I'm talking about it than have questions and message me individually because if you message me chances are i'm probably not even gonna find your message so ask me questions now um okay so here's friends so if you go to see all right and you go oh that's friend requests so if you go to all friends and you go to sort and you go to oldest friends first whatever those are those people that you guys are hanging on to in high school that you don't even talk to anymore, but you're just being nosy, okay? So that's where I start. 
I like literally, I mean, I'm down to my bare minimum of people that I really do want to hang, like keep on, you know, talk or keep friends with. So I know that I have to like scroll a little bit. And then I really do not, once I get past that point of people that I, oops, once I get past that point of people, you guys, that I know that I want to keep, I just delete. I really don't think twice. I don't go to people's pages. I just delete. That's all I do. And you have to scroll past. Uh, here I'm at. Here, I don't know. I don't know who Jada. Yeah, I do. She's on PTA with me. All right. Um, here we go. Julie Pelts. No idea. Unfriend. Um, and you know, some people I've unfriended and they friended me back. So obviously I know them. Don't know who she is. Um, D. No. Um, here we go. Shelby. And eh, maybe I'll keep Shelby around. Um, Macy Gray. I think I just messaged her. So this, that's what I do. And you just, you don't think twice about it. You just don't think, okay. If you get caught up, I mean, obviously people, when I see like Melinda Lowry, that's like my other sister, I'm not going to delete her. So like, don't delete people that you enjoy seeing and you want to keep connected with, but so many people, you guys, and here's the thing, if you're their name, if you don't recognize their name, they're, they, they, they don't, they honestly, you guys, then they're, you're not talking to them. You will recognize names that you talk to. You will recognize team. And sometimes you may delete someone accidentally and then just say, you know, I accidentally deleted you. I'm sorry, but you, you got to get rid of people. That's the only way that you're going to keep having success with this system. You got to get rid of the, the old and bring the new in every single month. Every single month, you, you can't just add 100 new friends. You just can't. It's got to be at least 300 to 500 new people a month. And I promise you, you'll do it. I promise you, you will. So that's really, I mean, honestly, that's, that's what I do. Any other questions, though? I thought that there was. Any more questions? I feel like we, we answered um, the replying to comments. That was so good. Green light message. That's all I had in my notes. Yeah. And I will give you guys all of those, um, those things. You guys just go back and just know this. I, I want the biggest thing I tell my team is that you have to trust me that the customers are going to come. The customers are going to come. And I'm not saying that if you're up for diamond this month, that you're not going to, you, you can, you can give people. Oh, I got the question. Yep. The, um, oh, never mind. We don't, never mind. Well, we answered that. Sorry. Sorry. Oh, no, that's okay. So Holly, this is a question I always get. What's the best way to find people to add? Well, you're not, you don't have to find people when you do host a post. That's why it's so easy for you. It's right there. You give somebody the giveaway post and they're going to get comments and you just add like, like the, it's right there in front of you. So that's why I love it so much. We don't have to just randomly add people like we, like we used to, right? That's why I love Facebook now. Like, yes, I love Instagram and all those things, but I'll just let those things grow organically. But like Facebook is so fun with host to post because these people are adding you and they're, they're, they're coming to you because they want to entry into your giveaway. And you're so, still posting, I want to verify, you're still posting on your, your feed every month about your monthly giveaway too, right, Amy? Oh, yeah. I don't yeah. want people to think you're not actually posting about the no, giveaway. No, like, so for instance, you guys, but I will tell you, you really don't have to if you, when you really get into the going. That's I haven't good. even touched this. So six comments. That's pretty far. That's, I mean, that's low. So that's what I'm telling you guys. I don't post a product post now where I don't get comments. And I haven't even looked at those comments and replied to people. So that's it. I posted that one last night, 48 comments. So yes, I'll go back to these people and I'll message, message one. I mean, most of these people, they, <laughs> I have message one, you know, and then I'll wait for a response. I mean, she obviously didn't post that and I'll put message to you. Right. But here's the thing. I really only do this like once a month because I, I just, when you're constantly giving, there's an opportunity post. Okay. There's, there's, an, there's another opportunity post. You just got to read it. So I'm, I'm, I'm going back to what I did in the beginning. Like I'm showing my face. 
I'm, I'm, you know, I, I do product posts, 13 comments. I mean, I, I just don't, you guys, I don't, the customers come, the customers come now to me, eight comments. I think I enrolled three customers off that one. Cause that was the end of the month. Yup. I enrolled three customers off that post. Rena, Kimberly, and then Sarah became customers that day. So it just, here we go, 28 comments. Look at that. Let's see if I enrolled anybody. Oh, I enrolled her, Kaylee. Um, she became a distributor that day. Jordan became a distributor that day off this post, you guys. Is there anyone else? Oh, and there's three comments I didn't, well, two, she's a distributor. There's two comments I didn't even get to. So that's what happens because it's new people. It's so fun, y'all. Like, it's just so fun. I don't have to, I don't have to cold message people. I don't have to beg people to buy my products. 21 comments. I mean, yes, I replied. So not all 21, but like, it's just, I don't, it, it, they just come because it's new people, opportunity posts. I mean, it's just doing the thing, 64 comments. I enrolled 12 customers off that post and they were all brand new people. If I traced them back, I, I, I probably, I probably, that was in April 19th. I think I added almost all of them in March through a host of posts. And that, and so when I say that the customers will come, the customers will come seven comments. You just, and say like right there, that was the last time I did a giveaway post, an interaction post. I mean, because I don't have to, because I, I constantly have, I'm constantly jumping into different hoops. So I, I'm never stuck. I'm never ever, oh, you should never feel stuck in host to post. If you feel stuck, you're not doing it right. You're not. There's never a day that I wake up stuck. And that's what I teach my teams because it, I can always make it happen with a green light message. You're going to find somebody. And then here's the cool part too. You can also add it to your Instagram story. I mean, take this post. And if you've got following a different followers on, you know, Instagram, probably have that like right there, Amy, but I mean, add it to your story, you know, and then add a poll. I mean, and then you know what you're going to do? You're going to message them and you're going to say, okay, all you have to do is put up an Inst uh, uh, Facebook post. Um, questions. There's questions. And then, and so when they message me giveaway or they put what porch style they like, they're going, I'm going to message them. I have something in my board. I have something in my board and I'll show you. So I have, and I can give this to um, K too, but I have something where it is, is it? on here somewhere. I know I'm freaking some of you guys out because you're like, oh my gosh, how do you find stuff? I, I find it. But anyways, it's a message for Instagram people who comment on Instagram and I send them my Facebook link. And I, I, I there's a link and there it is. And I send them my Facebook link. It's all a message. And so what they do is, so, oh, look, one of my new distributors got a new LC. Um, okay. So what I do is I, uh, I wasn't sharing my screen. So what, so I wasn't sharing my screen this whole time. You guys, was I No, but go back and do it real quick. It's yeah. Fine. I'm so sorry. The whole time I was talking to you guys you were finding it first. Like I seriously thought you were finding it first and then you were just going to. No, I'm notorious for doing that. And usually people just call me. I'm like, Amy, you're not sharing your screen. Okay. So what I did was I added this guys. So, you know, a lot of us have different followers on, and you can even do this on TikTok. Make a silly video if you want to, if, if you're, you're into the TikTok thing. So do a giveaway. And so what they're going to do is they're going to pick one, two, three, four. They're going to type in their number. And then I have a message somewhere, and I'm going to send it to UK where um, it, because I haven't done this in a long time, but I'm glad I did it. So um, no, there's a message where I, there's Jade's messages. I'll send you guys that. Um, there, it's a message where I basically say, hey, thanks for commenting on my giveaway post. Would you like an entry? And they say yes. And oh, here it is. 
Awesome. And then, so when I say, when I send them message one, they say, yes, it's the same message one. I send the same messages and I have been for the last year and a half. I get a message one and a message two. It's on my host to post board. And then when they say, yes, what I'll do is awesome. Send me a message on my Facebook with the words Instagram giveaway, and I'll send you the post. My name is Amy Spence on there. So what you're doing is you're, you're getting your Instagram followers to your Facebook. Right. So, I mean, it, it's just another way to always keep things going. We should never, ever, ever feel like we can't move forward with host to post because it's an amazing system that works. I truly believe you can get to any rank in the company with host with host to post because what you're we don't need to. Here's the thing, guys. I tell my team this. Don't worry. TikTok is not duplicatable. Okay. Reels are not duplicatable. I give you permission. I don't know if your leaders already have, but I'm giving you permission and they might get mad at me. Stop trying to figure out TikTok and reels right now when we're in this huge, like crazy busy season. I, May is still a very busy month. June is busy. Don't waste time on that in August, learning how to do TikTok. But it's not duplicatable. You know what is duplicatable? This system. So we can get our teammates to the next level with this system. You can become an ambassador diamond with this system because then you're just teaching everybody. I literally have a girl who joined in January. She's going double this month and she's already boxed for triple, but she just doesn't have the volume. And it's all through this. All right. Any other questions? Kay, did I miss anything? I don't think so. I know this has just been unbelievably helpful on every account. I'm so grateful. Um, and I did record it. So I know they're going to want to get it out to their team right away. Um, yes. I honestly think this is enough to get to work. I think this is enough to do what it takes. I so believe in this or I would have not had you on. We've never done a Zoom like this in our group. It was time to do something different. And I really wanted to, we shook things up this month where we did a month long giveaway, Amy, and you and I had talked about that. I just wanted to shake things up for them. So it wasn't just every week. So they had time to really build their network. And so this is why I did this for you guys. This is why we masterminded behind the scenes with the other leaders so that we could bring you something new and you could get a new workflow going because we knew you needed that. I knew I needed that. And if I needed that, you needed that. So um, I'm grateful, Amy. Thank you so much. You're so welcome. And I will tell you, I recommend doing month long giveaways because of what you guys just saw right there. I, I always can go back because it, even if it was a different giveaway, you know, first of all, you're, there's, you lose focus, I think from week to week when you're jumping around. Cause we used to do week long giveaways guys. And then when we went all month, it's just, we just saw an influx of people getting more hosts to post up. It, it wasn't confusing and you always have something. So like April 30th or May 31st, you guys can still work. Cause guess what? You know, a new giveaway is coming the next month. So even if somebody, even if somebody puts up a post, we're still going to have a giveaway May 1st, right? Or June 1st. So that's the cool part of it. And you can work from your previous months because you always have a giveaway. So some of you guys who feel stuck right now, go green light message or go back to the people who posted for you and go look at all the comments and see if you missed any comments and then just send them a message and get them going again. Yes, I'm excited, you guys, because I really believe like Jade was so excited. She said she's on fire right now. She's loving her one on ones. Her her team is winning. She said a girl that enrolled a year ago who has done nothing watched my Zoom last month and she's enrolled two distributors and like six loyal customers just by doing those things, asking everybody and just adding to your network and just focusing on that. So anyways, I'm super pumped. Kay, if your team has questions, you know how to get a hold of me. Um, and I would love to answer anybody who has any questions. Thank you all so much for being on and just being such a big part of this. I will get the boards I need from Amy. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to do that right now before I forget. <laughs> do it tonight, Amy, because I know. I'm doing it right now. You and I are very similar. All right. Thank forget. you all so much. Have a great night, everybody. I'm excited for you all. Oh, guys, real quick, I got to tell you, a girl that's been in for five weeks just signed her third distributor in the last week because of this. You guys, trust, trust me. If you've never trusted me on anything, trust me on this. 
trust, trust, trust. Go back to being simple, 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 and just focus on this. Stop focusing on all the other fluff. It's not duplicatable. Bye, you guys. So good. Bye, y'all.